Good evening, I'm Lori Tucker. I'm Bo Williams. And I'm Don Hudson. Thank you for joining us. A stay-at-home mom is questioning a letter from the state labor department tonight about her unemployment benefits. Yeah, the state says she was overpaid during the pandemic and she owes the Department of Labor and Workforce Development more than $700. Six on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare sat down and talked with Melanie Norris and also contacted the state. Don. Well, that's right, Bo. The response from the state is, yes, Mrs. Norris owes the money and she should have received several notices last year, but Melanie says, no, she didn't receive those notices. During the height of the pandemic, four years ago, Tennessee residents filed over one million unemployment claims, according to the state labor department. The federal government requires the state to audit each of those claims. It's a massive job and it has taken several years to accomplish. For Mrs. Norris, she was surprised to receive a notice from the state just a few weeks ago that she was overpaid while drawing unemployment four years ago. Like this? Like this? Melanie Norris has been staying at home with her 18-month-old daughter Olivia since her birth. Prior to being a new mom, Mrs. Norris worked at a doctor's office as a technician. But when the pandemic hit in March of 2020, the office where she worked was temporarily shut down. We, because of the pandemic, had to close. So the facility stated that we could draw unemployment for the time that we were closed. So we did apply. This letter came from the state in April of 2020. She was eligible for unemployment benefits. Then, nearly four years later, a disturbing letter came from the state. Our records indicate your balance for overpaid unemployment benefits has not been paid to the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development. As far as you know, had, had you been overpaid? Not to my knowledge, no. No one ever brought it to your attention? Not until now. The state claims Mrs. Norris owes $705. It's due at the end of next month. You received this notice when? February the 29th of 2024. Yet according to this document from the state, the determination date was January 20th of 2023. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Yes. To receive some clarity, Melanie went to the local Labor and Workforce Development Office on Middlebrook Pike in Knoxville. To see if they could uh, see if this was legit, maybe help me out because I don't feel like I owe this. I don't see that I had any overpayment. <laughs> then in early March of this year, Mrs. Norris received a more detailed letter regarding her overpayment. It states that on week ending of 4-4-2020, I was granted $600. Also 4-4-2020, same day, $105. So apparently that's where they're getting the $705. Did you bring that to the attention of the people there in the Middlebrook office? I did, and the lady stated that they just must have, it must have, must have been a typo, that it, she meant for it to be the whole month of April. We contacted the state. This response says Mrs. Norris was overpaid for one week. The department says it emailed her an overpayment statement each month beginning in 2023. And it says she never attempted to set up an agreement to make the payments. Melanie says no messages like that were sent to her last year. Not to my knowledge. I never received any. I check them daily. Your email messages? Correct. Had you received those emails last year, what would you have done? I would have jumped on it. I would have made anything right. I would have paid it. What are you going to do now? I'll have to pay it. It'll be hard. I'll have to do monthly payments. Now, the state labor department says under federal law, Mrs. Norris is responsible for repaying the $705. The state says Mrs. Norris chose email as her preferred communication method. But Melanie wonders when the state did not receive a response from her last year, why didn't the labor department mail her the notice of overpayment? She said had they, that taken place, she would have responded a year ago. As you heard, she will be making arrangements for the overpayment. Bo? Mm, Don, thank you very much. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email, ddare at wat.com. You can also call him, the number, 865-633-6923.